What is up, everybody? Matt Miller, the artist here, dropping my second YouTube video. This is it right here. And in this video, I'm going to follow up on what I talked about in that first video. <clears throat> and in the first video, I talked about how I got into art and why I pretty much got obsessed with it and decided to make it an important part of my life. And the first, the first thing I talked about was that art was kind of a therapeutic activity to me. It kind of made me feel good. It helped me focus. It helped me experience more peace of mind. But what really got me obsessed was when art became something like a, like a high performance challenging sport to me. You know, I'm, I'm really into the skill development, um, challenging myself and, and seeing, seeing how far I can take this. And one of the most challenging things that I that I love to do is live painting. So going out into the world, painting in public, capturing scenes from life, going to live music venues and painting the band, going to weddings and capturing a, a beautiful scene from the from the from the reception, the first dance right there on the spot. And but one of my most favorite things to do is what I call the art triathlon. And so for the last few years, I've been traveling around the country, going to various Ironman triathlon races and painting scenes from the race course live. And um, I, I got to tell you what, I used to do those races. I, I was, it was such a wonderful, challenging experience. I mean, you're suffering out there. You're really pushing yourself and it's do or die. You know, race day comes and you have to execute. And very similar things are going on with live painting. There are no do-overs. You have to roll with the punches on the day of. And it really reminds when I'm out there, when I'm out there painting on the Ironman race course, it, it, it kind of reminds me a lot of when I used to do those races. And um, one of the reasons why I love to do it is because I have experienced the sport. It's a, it's a wonderful sport. It's a great community. The people at those events are awesome. And, um, after I'd been painting for like maybe a year or so, it kind of dawned. I was like, you know, I should do triathlon art, like the Ironman endurance sports and those athletes who push themselves out there. Like that is what I want to celebrate in my art. That's what I want to, 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 to do. That's what I want to honor. You know, I want to pay my, pay homage to, if you will. And so um, it is uh, September of 2022 and I'm actually, this week, I'm going to be going to Madison, Wisconsin to do an art triathlon at Ironman, Wisconsin. That will be my fourth time at that race. It was actually the first one I ever did. The first time I ever went to an Ironman to paint was in Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, it was just such a blast. The, 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 the spectators are great. The race course is amazing. There's so much like iconic scenery out there. And that's what I really love about doing these art triathlon paintings is because it allows me to combine two of my favorite forms of art. Number one is landscape painting. So I am out there capturing landscapes, buildings, you know, scenes from the race course, but I'm also incorporating the athletes into the painting as well. So I'm also doing sports art. So it's landscapes and it's sports art, two of my favorite things coming together into these Iron Man paintings. And so I have a, you know, the wonderful thing is um, that makes me really proud. There are hundreds of Ironman finishers across the country who hang my artwork in their homes, their offices, or in their pain caves. So they have it in their workout area as kind of a motivation to keep training, uh, but also like a nice reminder uh, to be proud of their accomplishments. So they have these, you know, unique pieces of art to uh, celebrate their really wonderful physical accomplishment. It really is something to be proud of. It's definitely an accomplishment that deserves to be celebrated in the form of, of, of artwork. And so that's, that's my job. That's what I'm doing. I'm creating that artwork to celebrate those accomplishments. And I got a few of my paintings here. A lot. I mean, I'll tell you what, I'm really grateful that so many athletes have purchased my artwork and they hang them in their homes. But I do have a few left and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk you through some of these. I'm just going to kind of show you a little bit of what we have going here and so first of all we have iron man chattanooga this is from 2019 and uh the thing about this race i remember i went to chattanooga and i got a hotel and i remember there was some of the athletes staying at the same hotel as me i was up before them i was getting in my car 
heading down to the race site while they were still dragging out of bed. I was on that bridge. I stood on a bridge and painted that. It was pitch dark when I got set up just so I could capture those, those gnarly, beautiful sunrise colors uh, coming up over that, uh, I think that's like Lookout Mountain, I think over down there in Tennessee. So this is one of my favorite paintings. I'm really surprised no one has bought this one yet because it's definitely one of my best, some of my best work, I think. Um, let's fast forward a little bit. We're jumping around the timeline a little bit. This is from Iron Man Tulsa 2020 down there at Keystone Lake in Oklahoma. And uh, the thing was like, they didn't allow spectators to come to the swim start. The swim was like way far away from town. I think it would have been in kind of a, kind of like a congestion for a lot of spectators to come watch this. So I had, I, they wouldn't even let you in there, into the, the park where the, the swim and everything was. But there happened to be uh, on, on this other side of the lake over here, there was a trailer park. And so I, I parked in the trailer park and I had to climb down this hill through these woods. And, and it was rainy. It rained while I painted this, actually. I was under a, a tent the whole time. And I had to climb through the mud just to get down kind of on the side of this lake to, uh, to get my painting done. So, hey, I got to put in a lot of work to, uh, to pull these things off myself. And let's, uh, let's move on a little bit. Here's one of the first ones I ever did, actually. It was Iron Man Chattanooga in 2017 set up at the finish line that was back back then i um you can see there's a little more realism you know going on in these in these paintings here but um this is when i was a little more abstract with my colors and i um i think iron man chattanooga the colors of the of that race are that kind of like light blue teal color or whatever and so i thought i would make the painting predominantly that color and uh i thought that turned out pretty cool. That's when I was just getting started with this stuff. So um, it's really interesting to see how my style and my skills have, uh, have progressed. Here's another one. This is actually not an Iron Man painting, but it's a bike painting. I was in, uh, I was in Denver, Colorado, and there was a bike race going on downtown. It's called the Colorado Classic. And I actually knew some, uh, some other artist friends who were going down there and they had like a little street festival set up where they were kind of selling their art and had a little kind of like art fair sort of deal. And I was going to go down there and do that too. But I was like, you know what? These bikers are going to be going by. I'm going to do a bike painting to kind of like uh, commemorate the event there. So again, this is, it was 2017 when I did that one. That was definitely back when I had that more kind of abstract psychedelic colors going on there. And that one turned out pretty cool. So it was bikers in a little Peloton formation. And uh, let's see, what's next here? This one is Iron Man Florida 2020. That was like the first one, that, the only race they had in 2020. The Great Floridians decided to have the race, God bless them. And so uh, that was a new swim course. I did this race back in 2009. And it was on the other side of town. And so this was a new course kind of down by Pier Park. And... Uh, I really like the way I kind of captured the colors of that emerald water in, uh, down there in Panama City Beach. And again, speaking of emerald water, this is not a, I didn't do this at the race. I did this in my studio. I just wanted to do a really cool swimmer painting. I mean, the, the, I, I mean I'll tell you what, the triathlon swim, especially an Ironman swim, when you're out there in the ocean or in a big open body of water and there's like hundreds, maybe thousands of other swimmers out there, and they're just thrashing around. You're getting kicked. You're getting punched. It is, it's, it's one of the most thrilling, surreal experiences you will ever have in your life. And I remember being out there in Ironman, Florida. I mean, you're out like probably half a mile or so, like away from the shore. And then you just kind of stop and tread water. And you look around a little bit. And it's, it's unbelievable to see all these people swimming around. And I think I even looked down the water. I might have seen like a maybe a shark or something. I don't know. Maybe there was some stuff down there. I mean, here's a, here's a scary thing. All these people are dressed up like seals. They're dressed up like shark food and they're going to swim out in the ocean. What a bunch of freaking nutcases, right? <laughs> so anyways, guys, I want to show off some of my work. I am really proud of these paintings and uh, they are available. And it just so happens that if you're watching this video shortly after I filmed this, they are on sale. Go to MatthewMillerArt.com click on shop 
you'll be able to find these pretty easily. And um, love to know what you think about this. Um, shout out to all the athletes who have supported me over the years. It really means a lot. And um, yeah, hope to uh, hope to create more and uh, possibly a new video coming out pretty soon to showcase what I pull off at Ironman Wisconsin this year in 2022.